Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. I have the pleasure today to introduce you to Space Fields from Igor Vasiliev, a fantastic new space ambient machine. It's truly amazing what you can do just with the click of one note. As you will see, it's a demonstration using and the app inside the AUM, but you can also use it standalone if you wish so. Um, this video is a first introduction to uh, the application, then we go into more details conversation with the videos uh, coming next on how to use the app. I hope you enjoy. See you. Bye. Okay, let's start with uh, an introduction to the effect as a first tutorial, and then we go through and in more details in the next uh, uh, videos um, on how everything works. So just take it easy and um, let's first of all enjoy and give you a demonstration of what you can do with this fantastic app. I'm inside the AUM, so I'm going to create an audio channel and I'm going to just select um, a grand piano, why not, as um, a first uh, audio input source. And let's connect it to the keyboard. So you know what sound we are referring to. Okay, it's very simple, right? So now let's um, click on uh, insert effects and let's search for space field like that. And okay, and now we have it uh, um, running. So let's uh, open it up and let's maximize the window as well. As you can see, same style of previous applications from uh, um, Igor Vasiliev. You might also hear a little bit of feedback which comes from the uh, convolution reverb, which you find here on the right hand side. So first of all, a little bit of an intro to the UI. You have uh, at the top some uh, of uh, the um, uh, basic controls, like here you can select the presets, for example. You can import them as well, and you can also import the um, impulse uh, reverb as well waveform which um, comes really really handy this is where you select your preset you set them as well you can create a new one save them etc etc you can go to the next preset on the previous preset you have a button to ready which i will explain how that works in the next tutorials a button to randomize the settings which is really good to explore um, different parameters and, the fur, and therefore create new sound textures. You can save, of course, you can go to your app settings and you can go to your bit per minute, but of course we are also inside AUM, so it will be synced to uh, the host. And here is where on the question mark you have quite a very uh, detailed uh, um, help as normal. As you can see, you have an input output section here. This is where you see your uh, input signal, you see your output signal, but you have things like uh, an iPad filter, a saturator as well. Decide that you can trade your stereo signal as well. You can bypass it as well. And this is uh, on the second part. This is where you have your loop recorder. And it, it's a two loops um, recorder. So you record on one while it's playing on the other one, and then you transition between the two. And that is why you have parameters like crossover transition. And um, it is a mangler effect, so that means that um, you it will split the sound, um, it will break the sound apart to create interesting uh, sound texture. It's an ambient-based uh, uh, machine, so it's really, uh, really nice. And then you have a free section of free audio playbacks, which have their own levels, pitch, pulses, feedback, um, and also different type of filters like low pass, high pass, bend pass, notch. And then you have the convolution reverb, which gives you that very in-depth reverb, which you need to create the type of sounds that you will hear in a moment. You can also see some automation here, and therefore you have the ability to do uh, step automation, LFO automation, which I will explain. You have also ability to add chorus as well which is really nice and also you have a, an equalizer at the end of the chain as well you have a automatic gain control as well which you have seen as well in previous application from egan and um, 
one thing to uh, to get used to with the application is that you for every controls or for most of the controls whether you find the dials at the moment if i was to increase and move up and down i will increase the outer level in this case the level settings if i click on it in the middle i will um, move to the inside which is the pan and then i will can adjust the pan like that moving up and down or also horizontally if i was to move diagonally i could do a finer set of changes as well so remember that you click and you go from the inside control to the external control as well on the same dial you can see you are on the inside one for so for example if i go here and i want to change the rate i click on it and you can see the color has changed so you have this lighter um or darker blue or lighter um, dark color which is highlighting you are controlling the inside parameter if you click it if you click again on it you go outside of course one thing to remember as well um effects can be cleared using the uh, clear button here as i just done because by mistake i just clicked with my fingers the keyboard at the button and that is where you can um, create if you like a fade out effect because it's clearing out what is in the loop buffer but uh, and one last thing here you see for the um free um playback output you see play and auto for each one of the uh, headings if you click where it says auto it will change it's like going to another page for that particular playback section so here is where you can see the controls for the automation depth and rate depth and rate with the different destination okay but i will explain all of that very very clearly in some of the next tutorial so i just want to show you what happened straight away just uh, pressing one note And at the moment, we this type of preset as a direct um, settings, which means that you have to play and it will directly change the, the output. So you can hear how nice it is. But of course, there are other type of modes that uh, the application work with. So there's direct, there is auto, signal, ready, and fixed, and manual as well. So let's choose some presets which have by default auto, which means that we wait for an input signal, and that, that input signal will have to go through a threshold, which is established here, will start recording. When they go below that threshold, will stop recording. And you will uh, notice as well under here which again i will explain the next tutorial that you have transition between one loop or one um, loop to the next as well and here you have signals for example for your input for your left and right as well while here you have your meter for your output okay and then here you have uh, act for active which means that uh, that playback is active and then it gives you also an indication of when the output is um, happening so let's go to um, one first preset like that, set it, and let's click an exit, and then let's press one note. I purposely leave dry and wet roughly at 50, which is the default, which means you hear uh, the dry sound and also the wet sound. Okay, let's try. <laughs> As you can see, I clicked on the clear button here. The effect has uh, stopped slowly. That is why it's useful to use that clear button, almost like a fade out for that effect. As I mentioned earlier on, it clears the um, the loop, which has been recorded. And you saw here a transition at the end of the loop as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play different notes again. And you will see that it moves from loop number one to the second um, one and vice versa and you can see 
as it moves from one loop to the other and that the transition battle becomes available or is lit up, which means that uh, it's transitioning from one loop to the other. And we'll see all the different possibility of what you can do with transitioning as well. So as you can hear, fantastic effect. It works better, I must admit, with some synth pad, but um, it works equally better, uh, good as well, with some um, arpeggiator as well type of, uh, of sounds or preset. So let me show you how it behaves if I change the type of uh, input signal. And I've been developing, and I'm not going to disclose it yet, but I've been developing my um, synthesizer and which uh, hopefully will be released in the next few months. I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm going to give you a little bit um, of um, taste. Mm, there's one preset which I already created on it. So we are going to use uh, uh, that sound, synth pad sound, and we're going to use it um, against uh, a space field and let's see what happens. So as you can hear, a fantastic sound that you can create with space fields. Now, let me show you changing also the presets why I still use the same input uh, um, sound source, okay? So let's go for it. Now let me show you what else you can do because it really gets great as you create your own setup of course. So we are inside the UM just as a reminder as you can see let's create another audio channel and um, uh, actually a third one as well. So we are going to have uh, as an input here a mix bus um, A and then we are going to remove the space field effect from there and we are going to load it up here. Okay. So let's search for it and let's have it like that. Here we are going to have uh, the piano again. Then we are going to redirect the output of these two first two channels to the mix bus A, which means that they will be mixed and they will be picked up directly from 
as one single input sound source uh, by the space field uh, effects here on the third audio channel. And then now what I can do is to use the second ear to connect between one type of up to the next one and create some interesting effects. So just to give you a simple example what you can do. So let's start again with a synth sound very low. Actually, I should say that I'm going to remove to make it only wet, like so, so you will not hear any more um, the original input sound source, which is uh, nicer in terms of what you can do. Okay, so let's start with only the synth. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a good introduction of what you can do with this fantastic app. It's really amazing in, time, in terms of what you can create as a sound texture. Um, this one, the Capella Nebula, it is really it's one of my favorite uh, as well. So let's listen to it again. Okay, right, okay, so hopefully these are giving you an introduction of how the app sounds. I'm going to see you very shortly in the next tutorial where we'll start to go through each control of the app. And I'm going to start with the very basic, give you a very good solid understanding on how to use it. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.